Hello, welcome YouTube land to the OTB channel, or old tech bloke to give it its full name. Um, and that'd be me, uh, on the basis that I'm getting on a little bit. Uh, I like all things to do with technology, and I'm a bloke. Not exactly the most creative, perhaps, but nevertheless, it does what it says on the tin. Uh, so what's the channel about? Well, some of you will have seen... Uh, my first test video that I published last week and I mentioned it was going to be about Linux installations perhaps touching on some hardware particularly in relation to ThinkPads um, but I want it to be a little bit more than that and to be honest thinking about what the subject would be is why it's taken me so long to put this channel up I've been watching YouTube like I'm sure many of us out there do for entertainment and also as a source of reference and uh, I've got my favorite channels um, two that come to mind immediately are DistroTube and you'll already see by the layout of this channel that uh, I've borrowed a number of his ideas as far as the layout of the channel is concerned so thanks very much Derek um, I'm also learning a lot from Chris Titus Tech and I've decided that it was time to just get on with it so what this first video in fact the first few videos are going to be about is how i've gone about setting up a channel starting with the hardware i've only just moved house and when i moved all my old kit into my new place um i struggled i've got a tiny third bedroom which is my office um i had a huge tower that i built about eight or nine years ago i had webcams that if i'm honest were pretty poor quality and uh, i made the decision to get some new kit so today i'm going to talk about the hardware that i've put together for this channel um, which will probably take 10-15 minutes on the next video i'm going to talk about the software including the operating systems i've installed and the third video will talk a little bit more about configuration especially in two pieces of software that I'm currently using, which are OBS Studio and uh, Kden Live. So you can see a, a picture of um, my setup on the left. There were a couple of things I had to keep in mind when I was uh, looking for kit. One was to keep the costs down as low as possible so the majority of what i have here was pieces of hardware that i've reused from my old setup for instance the screen on the left uh, was an old dell screen that i've been using for the last 10 years it still works fine so great i wanted a dual screen setup uh, i didn't have a second screen so i went over to ebay and i bought myself uh, an acer um, full HD screen uh, with an HDMI input which works really well I splashed out a little bit as far as the mic's concerned you, you'll probably see there to the right uh, I bought myself a Blue Yeti uh, it's recommended by so many people on YouTube that I thought it was probably worth it and listening to the quality of the sound on these initial videos and let's bear in mind i haven't got a clue how to configure these things the default settings seem to work and it comes out pretty well uh, i also got myself uh, a c920 um, uh, logitech webcam again second hand on ebay um, and it seems to do the job but the star of all of this is the computer i didn't have a lot of room in uh, my third bedroom where this is set up so i decided that rather than looking at another tower i'd go as small as possible and uh, i happened across the intel nook the particular version i have is the uh, intel nook 7 i5 bnk it comes as a bare bones unit again i picked it up second hand on ebay to keep costs down uh, it's got the latest uh, intel iris graphics chip inbuilt um, and as a bare bones unit all you have to do is 
add RAM and uh, add an SSD. Uh, so I've actually added uh, 16 gig of RAM to this and uh, a 500 gig um, NVMe uh, SSD and I'm blown away by how fast it is. You'll also see on the picture on the left that um, I use Ubuntu Mate. Um, I am a Linux enthusiast, as you'll see from my hat, I use Slackware as well. Um, I've installed Ubuntu Mate on this setup simply because it was a quick fix, it tends to work out of the box, and I wanted something I could get up and running very, very quickly. Um, what else? I bought myself a little icy box um, SSD um, dock, I suppose you'd call call it, which I can just hook up to the uh, Intel NUC, and that's given me another half terabyte of storage, which incidentally I'm running uh, Arch Linux on as well, on a couple of partitions. So let's uh, dive a little bit deeper into the hardware. Uh, this Intel NUC that uh, I've bought comes with uh, a soldered in CPU. It's an i5-7260U, uh, dual core running two, at 2.2 gig, and it has four threads, more than fast enough for my needs. It will take a maximum of 32 gig of RAM. Um, that was a little bit too expensive for my taste, so I've just put 16 in there for the moment, and we'll no doubt look at uh, upgrading as uh, RAM prices drop. It's got four USB 3 ports, um, it's got internal audio, it's got an HDMI slot, it's got a USB-C port. And one of the useful things about the USB-C port, or the thun I think they call it the uh, Thunder, Thunderbolt 3 port, is it has the ability not only to be used as a USB um, slot, but also you can connect another screen up to it. I've connected my old Dell monitor up, which only has a DVI input, uh, just by using uh, an adapter cable, USB-C to DVI. Um, works pretty well. What else can I say about this? Um, so far, I haven't had any problems with it at all. I believe it can actually support up to three screens. It says it somewhere. There we go, displays supported three screens. Couldn't see how to do this initially because it has an HDMI port and it has the USB-C port. Um, however, after doing some research, apparently the USB-C port can be used to support three monitors if you daisy chain them one to the other. Problem being, there's not that many screens, uh, especially those at the low end, uh, which support daisy chaining through having a, an input and an output port, output port on the back. You can buy a hub, however, that would allow you to do this. And uh, over time, I may add a third screen and see how it goes. So that's the Intel NUC. It says there from 319. I actually picked it up on uh, eBay. Uh, it was categorized as new other. Um, and the seller said uh, they'd taken it out of the box, used it once, and then put it back in the box. I paid two fifty for it. I think it was quite a good buy. So next up, we have uh, the Logitech C920. I did have a very cheap webcam uh, prior to this, but the quality really wasn't up to scratch. Um, I managed to pick up a, a cheap one for £30, used again on eBay. It seems to work really well. I've got a stand uh, that I can mount it on that allows me quite a lot of flexibility to move it around. And uh, it's not a bad image. I know that most professional YouTubers use DSLRs, but I'm not at that stage yet and I'm not prepared to pay hundreds of pounds um, just for an image of myself. What I do intend getting though over the next few months is uh, a camera or a camcorder so I can take uh, close-up shots of, for instance, me working on a laptop. Um, 
the price of them seems to be quite extreme at the moment. Um, I have noticed that there are quite a few no-name Chinese brands all over Amazon and eBay that might do the job that are relatively cheap. But please, if you've got any recommendations for around £100, no more than that, please let me know in the comments. So for now, I'm just using the Logitech, um, and it seems okay. There's a few quirks in Linux in using it, and I'll be showing you uh, on the next video some fixes that are, I've taken from Chris Titus Tech, which seem to stabilise the image that you get on Linux. Um, but I'll be running through that in a later video. So let's move on to the next thing. And next up, we come to the Blue Yeti microphone. I really tried to find one of these cheap and I failed. The reason I've gone with the Blue Yeti is because everyone seems to recommend it as a great microphone for starting off. I know uh, Derek from DistroTube used to have one of these and he had a few problems with uh, the USB lead. Um, and so he upgraded to uh, a far more expensive model. But for now, it seems great. It's plug and go. I have no idea how to configure it really. So I've just plugged it in. I have bought a stand and uh, we'll see how it goes. I did have a problem with the stand. Ideally, I would have put it um, or I would have mounted it on the desk behind the screen so I could just pull it over. My desk, unfortunately, um, has a frame just under it and the desk mount didn't fit onto it properly. So for now, it's actually attached to the windowsill, which is a bit annoying because it's not completely straight. And when I pull it over to speak, I have to leave it in a certain position, otherwise it starts to move on its own. Um, so that's something to fix. But for now, the Blue Yeti, yeah, I'd recommend it. It seems to be decent quality and I haven't had any problems with it at all. I'd recommend it to anybody. Sometimes you've just got to spend and the microphone seemed to be the one thing I'd have to spend on. So to bring uh, this first proper video uh, to a conclusion, the last piece of hardware, excluding the RAM and the SSD, which I just bought on the Crucial website, brand new, uh, I'm, I wouldn't buy an SSD or a RAM secondhand. I uh, like to start off with them working properly. I don't want to pick up other people's uh, problems. Uh, but the next piece of hardware I bought, I was a little bit concerned that I only had 500 gig. Uh, on the SSD that I'd bought. I, I was restricted to 500 because the one terabyte drives were just beyond my budget uh, of the NVMe type. And I wanted to do a few things. Uh, I dual boot, so I, I do have a, a copy of Windows 10 on the SSD, as well as a copy of Ubuntu Mate. Um, didn't leave me a lot of space for anything else. There is uh, an SD card slot uh, in the Intel NUC, but writing to uh, an SD card is, is a pretty slow process. So I came across uh, this icy, bo uh, icy Box disk drive on eBay. This is the one I bought, 2192. You simply hook it up to a USB 3, stick an SSD in it. Again, I bought a cheap no-name SSD, 500 gig. And uh, I actually started off by uh, installing uh, Arch Linux on it, and uh, I left uh, around uh, 400 gigs of space there for music, YouTube videos, whatever. Um, it's been brilliant. It will actually boot uh, from the Grub menu that comes up on Linux, and uh, it seems to be pretty fast thanks to USB 3. So that's the basics of the kit I've got. It'll be expanded on, I'm sure, over the coming six to 12 months, but it's got me up and running. It seems to be coping. Um, I haven't yet found a reason to regret my purchase of the Intel NUC. Uh, it's fast enough for me. For those people who like gaming, I'm not sure that the uh, Intel Iris graphics chip would do the job. 
but I'm not a gamer, so it's more than enough for, for my needs and really seems to be uh, doing what I need it to do. And that's the end of my first video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've got a lot to learn still. Uh, I've just played back uh, the various clips and I know I say uh, an erm too much. Uh, I'll be working on that. Um, and there I go again. My next video, as I said, will be looking at the software installation, um, especially not only the operating systems, but also OBS Studio and KDEN Live. And I'll be talking about how I managed to configure them to set this up. You'll notice, any of you who actually watched the first test video that I had up, that I've made some progress as well. I, I now have uh, an intro and an ending uh, to my videos. I won't pretend I created them myself. I went on to uh, Google and I found a website and uh, I got a professional to make them. It cost me a tenner, well worth it. As for the background, uh, I, I was inspired by Derek at DistroTube's uh, layout. Um, he, he made all of his in the GIMP. I'm afraid I'm not a GIMP expert, but I have a son who is, and I passed the task on to him, and uh, he's produced these for me. I've no doubt over the coming months I'm going to be tweaking and creating other little bits and pieces just to to give my channel that unique look. As I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe. And uh, I will be making videos probably once a week. Uh, I work full time, don't have a lot of time in, in the week itself. However, on a Saturday, I will try and put one, a video out each week. So thanks for that and uh, stay well, YouTube.